The movie begins with a flashback from 1999 in Yugoslavia, with the choir singing at the church. The lead singer is a young girl named Katarina, and her family is there to witness her perform a church song as she possesses an angelic voice that exhilarates everyone's feelings. Fast forward to London at the present time of 2017. It is weeks before Christmas, and Katarina is drinking with Ed in a bar. She asks if she can stay for a night at his house, until she finds a permanent home. But the following morning, Ed's girlfriend finds Katerina in his shower room. The woman throws her out of the house as she suspects that Katerina is just a random girl. Katerina now prefers to call herself Kate. She arrives at her job in a local Christmas souvenir shop. She works for a lady that goes by the alias Santa. Santa always scolds Kate as she grows lazier, but she always gives Kate a chance as she hopes that Kate will redeem herself somehow. One day at the shop, Kate notices a man gazing at the sky early in the morning. She approaches him and he introduces himself as Tom Webster. Tom points up and they both stare at a rare bird resting atop their shop. Bird waste hits Kate's eye, ruining their first meeting as she rushes to the store's bathroom to clean her face. Before leaving the store, Kate calls her friend Jenna to crash in for the time being. Later that evening, a pregnant Jenna welcomes her and shows Kate a room where she will be staying. Rufus sees Kate and remembers that one time she accidentally burned his boat figure after lighting a matchstick near it. Rufus and Jenna invite her to dinner, but Kate declines as she doesn't like salad and prefers to eat outside. The following morning, Rufus and Jenna are mad at Kate as a man leaves her room half naked. The couple asks her if she's alright and if she needs something in the morning. Kate panics as she embarrasses herself in front of her friends. She accidentally sits on a piece of art that Rufus is working on. The couple decides that she needs to leave as she will cause stress to the pregnant Jenna. At the shop, Kate notices a man staring at her boss, Santa. She believes that the man clearly loves Santa as they both cannot look away from each other while talking. The man leaves after saying he will return for the item soon. Kate teases her boss to test if she also likes the man and proves that she indeed does. Later that evening, she forgets the time as she has an audition to attend to, so she runs swiftly. She arrives just before the venue closes, but fails to sing her piece properly after panicking. After leaving the audition, she meets Tom once more. He invites her to walk around town. She shares that she wants to be a performer, and she has another audition coming up next Saturday. She enjoys her time walking around town with him as he emits a positive vibe to her. Tom shows her a secret area nearby and calls it a safe space for everyone. Before leaving, Kate asks for Tom's number but Tom responds that he doesn't use it anymore as it only distracts him. They both leave as they appear to be happy to accompany each other. The next morning, there are a lot of police in their shop as Kate did not lock the door before leaving for her audition. Santa knew it and decided to make it up like a break-in. She breaks a window before opening the shop to get the insurance compensation. Santa mentions that lately, Kate disappoints her, but she will give her another chance to prove herself worthy of the job and her trust. Kate doesn't know Santa's dark intention. Later that evening, Kate meets Tom, and he tells her that he works at a volunteer shelter for the homeless. Tom suggests helping her boss to show her appreciation for giving her another chance, and they go to an empty ice skating rink to practice for her upcoming audition for a musical play that needs an ice skater. The following morning, Kate proves herself by working hard and helping her boss Santa to have a date with the man she likes. But Kate feels upset as Tom has not yet shown himself for several days now and feels that he is avoiding her after the ice skating date with him. As it gets dark, Kate visits the volunteer shelter if they have seen Tom around as she needs to talk with him. The boss calls Tom, but it is not the Tom that she knows. She stays for a bit to show respect and enjoys the volunteer work after working only a few hours. That same evening, her family reminds her to visit and celebrate her sister's promotion in their house. Kate arrives and she is still upset as she did not see Tom. She then gets into a fight with her sister, Marta. Kate mentions that her sister is currently dating Alberto, but Alberto is a woman that is named Alba. Her mother and father are also at fault as they do not have time to fix their relationship that results in more arguments for the family. Kate and Marta leave as they are both upset about what is happening to their family. Kate goes to a bar to grab a few drinks until she gets drunk and impulsively goes to the volunteer shelter for the homeless to see Tom. 
Again, they don't know anyone by the name Tom Webster that volunteers in the shelter. As Kate is about to leave, Tom arrives and shouts calling her. He tells her that he's been away for some time to do other volunteer work with some depressed people in a remote area. Kate gets emotional as she really thought Tom was gone forever. He tells her to come to his home to have a talk about how she feels. As soon as they arrive at his house, Kate feels at peace as the place is very neat. Kate is shy to see that everything is in order and decides to sit on the floor. Tom proceeds to sit beside her and let her rest in his arms. Kate shares about her past and shows a heart transplant scar as she had a very weak heart as she grew older. She is grateful for the donor, but the removal of Kate's heart is making her feel less complete as the spark for singing is taken away from her. After some time, they kiss and they rest for the rest of the night. The following day, they meet at their secret place to talk about their relationship, but Tom dismisses her love as she's slowly getting dependent on his presence. Kate leaves him as she feels that Tom is playing with her feelings. After realizing that she can do more things to help people, Kate decides to sing every evening in front of the volunteer shelter to raise money to help them. She also conducts a competition to gather any possible performers for a musical performance at the shelter for the upcoming Christmas celebration. The boss approves and helps her screen the performers for the big event. The next morning, Kate appears to be in good shape and is ready to make up with her family and some friends. Kate visits her sister, but Alba opens the door for her. Alba calls Marta and she asks for forgiveness to the both of them. She mentions that she will be a better sister to her. She goes to her parents' house and invites her mom for a walk at the bazaar near them to ease up her feelings. In the bazaar, they share drinks and food and learn to connect more after all the years of being away from each other. She buys alcohol to give it to Marta later while there. She also visits Jenna to give her gifts and apologizes for all the problems that she previously caused. Later on, Kate arrives at her job earlier to help Santa. They chat with each other. Santa shares about her progress with her boyfriend that she cannot pronounce his name properly, so he calls him Boy instead. She also shares about her previous nicknames from her previous jobs, like Muffin, Caddy, and Santa. They grow closer to each other and begin to talk more about their personal lives. Lastly, she visits Tom's apartment, but to her surprise, a slim man is there talking to his phone instead of Tom. She asks the man where Tom is, as she needs to talk to him. The man informs her that no one has been living here for several months now, and the place is for sale. He thought that she was the new buyer that he was talking to on the phone. Kate asks the man if she knows anyone with the name Tom Webster. He responds by saying that Tom was the last owner of this apartment, but he died last Christmas after getting hit by a truck. She breaks down as she gets flashbacks of Tom's memory when he was in the accident. Her heart transplant was with Tom as the donor. She thanks the man for informing her and leaves. She goes to the secret meeting place with Tom as he visits her to tell her about her progress in finding her passion of helping other people. He assures her that she will do fine even after he is gone for real. As she leaves, the bench that they always sit at has Tom's name for remembering his life as one of the known volunteers at their place. The movie ends with a time skip of two weeks after Kate discovers the sad truth of Tom's life. Everyone gathers at the volunteer shelter for the homeless. And in there, Kate thanks everyone for being there with them to celebrate Christmas before performing with all the homeless singers that they have previously gathered to sing the last Christmas song. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.